I thought it was brilliant because I was in the middle of nowhere. What better way to end your day with getting a tattoo? That took about probably 12 hours. What's up GQ? This is um, DPRN and welcome to my tattoo tour. Um, my first tattoo is actually this one, believe it or not. And it says, be there, be down, be you. So be there, meaning, you know, be wherever you are, be down, just be ready. But most importantly, be yourself. I just knew I just wanted a tattoo ever since I was a kid. I got this about when I was mid-twenties, believe it or not. I was like, do you put any type of numbing cream on or not? And you know, they didn't have any of that. So I was like, yeah, it's okay. But no, I still say. But you know, they say part of the uh, experience of, of getting a tattoo is um, feeling it, getting, <laughs> getting it done on you. And after I got it, I was like, oh wow, that's a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> yeah. Oh goodness, what do you think a Korean mom would say to you when <laughs> she thinks you're growing up in the academics and you come home with a extremely large chest tattoo at that piece? She's devastated. Like almost to the point of like disowning me. Now she knows I'm not going to become a doctor or a lawyer or a dentist. So I think there's some part of her that kind of accepted it. I'm not extremely dependent on having one style of tattoos, but at the same time, I do want to find some aesthetic in mix matching. For example, these two tattoos here. The left side represents a lot of the dark moments that I kind of went through. The right side represents more of the high time. So I've, I've always kept that in terms of positioning and picking where I want to place it. So the next tattoo I'd like to show off is this arm piece, this sleeve, kind of uh, veiled up, staring at you from the corner of the darkness. So this one was in representation of my first album and the character that I play, Mido. This was the, I guess you could call, crown that I love to carry no matter where I went. As you guys know, I was in an idol group called Sea Clown. We called our fandom crowns. I thought, man, what better way to wear it? Didn't want to forget where my fandom really came from, so that's what this crown really means. This was uh, done with a group of special people. They wanted to get a tattoo in French, stating dreamers. And dreamers is what we call our fan. So we had the tattoos come to the studio, about six of them, seven including me, and a few of my, uh, I guess, people from DPR. We all got mashing tattoos. And the reason it was being here is because, you know, every time I hold a mic, you would see that. So yeah, big shout out to them. I love it. Sweet idea too. The parts where I didn't know it would hurt that much were my fingers. Oh boy. The smallest area equates to the most biggest pain. So when it came down to the pinky right there, it felt like a knife going into it. And I think the second painful tattoo I did it in Peru, in one of the villages on the Inca Trail. So he didn't have a machine, so he dotted it all. But you can imagine how long that process took. I thought it was brilliant because I was in the middle of nowhere. What better way to end your day with getting a tattoo? That took about probably 12 hours. I, I couldn't believe he was doing it. It was completely just covered in blood. And I didn't have any idea what he was looking at or how he could see. I think anyone that has a, has a tattoo will understand why it hurts so much on the bone. I don't think it's necessarily the pain, I think it's the feeling. It just feels like something's vibrating inside of you. It sounded quite wrong, but I mean, that's how excruciating it feels. But for what it's worth, yeah, I like it. It came out amazing. Actually, one of my favorites is the raven with the one odd eye. So this crow was actually the tattoo that I got that represented my second album. And the wingspan is meant to come over to the, around my shoulder, kind of symbolize the grasp it has on me. Being from Australia, I think the hardcore metal scene was always a big thing for me. So this one was um, the only tattoo that I ever have of depicting a different artist. It was um, an album called True View. I've listened to it just religiously. The reason why I did this was this album really truly did take me out of my darkest moments. The very first time that we performed on World Tour, 
We I think at that time we were doing about 20 something cities. And I think I was going through such a bad episode. I was kind of blacking out here and there, but I knew I wanted to make that of something. This one on my neck that goes around my neck here. I got this one done in Brazil. As you can see, it's very thin. It's moments are high on the darkest swing. It was a poem that I wrote. I always felt my moments were the most eccentric and I guess you could say high when I was in my most darkest state. That's kind of where what I mark myself, right on my neck. Every big, bad, good moment that has ever happened to me, I do not let that pass. I, I like to jot it down. It's kind of like every time you smell a, I don't know, a scent that takes you back to the past. It's kind of like that. I look down at this and I know exactly where, when, what time of day it was, what I was wearing, what the tattoos look like and how I was feeling. It takes me back, extremely. What better way to do it than to than to put it on your body. And my mom would always say, you're just gonna be, there's gonna be no space. Mom, I still have my legs. <laughs> well, thank you, GQ. This was your own personal DPR Ian's tattoo tour.